You picked up your phone and dialed voicemail. The first message was nothing, a hang-up. The second began with a pause, followed by an oh hi, then another pause, as if you were the one that had called her and caught her at an inopportune time. Well, she said, it finally happened. Reno hit me. I can't go home because my stepdad is staying with my mom again, so my sister is driving me to a hostel in Hollywood. I have enough money for two nights. After that, I guess I'll start whoring myself out on Santa Monica Boulevard. I love you. Call me. You stuffed the phone into the cup holder filled with receipts and the cardboard sleeves from takeout coffee cups. The stream of cars crossing in your path thinned out. You stared into the empty intersection, your mind thick with car exhaust and the flagging will to make sound decisions. June was an ineluctable force. She was the rain that seeped into, through the cracks in your ceiling. She was the small, damp circle that rapidly devolved into a dozen steady trickles and a home littered with brimming pots and pans. This message was the lightning flash before the thunderclap, the first storm after a protracted drought. You knew from experience that it would soon expose those holes that you'd been too busy, too distracted to repair during the dry time.